This is Gary with G's Bees. Wanted to wish you all a happy Father's Day. Show you what I got for Father's Day. I got a brand new 56 volt weed eater. And I'm gonna try it out. Okay, we're out today looking at various things that they could be coming up on as far as nectar flow goes. Um, this smooth sumac is just getting ready to blossom and we hope we can get some more rain and really make these blossom out. That's a really good source for us if that happens. Um, last year it, we got a little bit off of them but this year they're really ready to bloom. But well, hope, hoping that they do bloom out well for us. The persimmon trees are done and everything to go along with that and the privets done. And this is kind of our last big hoorah. So we'll see how it goes. We still have quite a few wildflowers going on. We've got quite a bit of clover and we've got our bush clover that'll come up too. So hopefully they'll get to blooming out. We'll let you know. This is our Chinese bush clover. A lot of this is coming up. It came up last year and bloomed and it was a real late source. It was the last source they had. Um, it was, uh, you know, towards July area and it came on. So it's it comes on a little bit after the smooth sumac comes on. So looks like we're going to have a lot of that this year. Okay, next to this bush clover. We've got some thistle, and it'll start blooming out also about the same time. It's pretty good flow. And um, here in central Oklahoma, and we've got, you can see the wildflowers that we've got going on right now. So we've got a little flow left. They're still bringing some things in. And I've got my smoker with me. And we're going to go light this smoker and we're going to go check to see if we've got some capped off honey. Well, it smells so good right here. We're at the last privet. I've, this is the last tree that I see that has any blooms on it. And, but it sure smells good. These are the nukes we started a couple of weeks ago. We put the queens in and we're just going to kind of take a look at them. I had some feed on them. I don't right now. I just left this on top so they wouldn't get robbed out. I put the I put the uh, feeder on the inside like that. Put that on top, and that way nothing could get to it. Because this time of year, being on the front as small as they are, I don't like running them that way. We'll kind of see where they're at. We'll see if there's any eggs been laid and what's going on with the queen. Looks like they got a pretty good population there. This rubber band frame is a frame that we got our gas station rob out where we did our bee removal. And it's a good piece of cone, so I just stuck it in there and let them have it. Let's see if we can find any eggs or a queen in this one. We hope. Yes, we do have fresh eggs in there. I don't know if you can see them if I get the sunlight on them, but you, they're, they're small. There is some in there. We'll see if we can find that queen. It should be a green marked queen, so hopefully she won't be too hard to find. You just never know. I did not see the queen, but I did see fresh eggs. I'm not going to spend too much time. It's about 92 degrees out here right now. A little warmish. Well, it could be on the bottom. But I did see 
eggs, so that's a good thing. Sometimes they'll get on the lid too, so you really got to watch the queens. I'm going to go ahead and just put this back on. We'll see what we've got going on with them. So the population won't be too much on these because they were just three frames when I made them. And I'll probably combine them with, I don't know how many bees there was from that, but. Yeah, we've got some young eggs in there, so. And there she is right there. There she is right there, green dot, right here, right here, down in the, we'll get out in a minute, you'll see her with a green dot, there she is right there on the bottom of the frame, green dot on her back, there, mm -hmm. okay, anyway, she's laid some up, so we're going to leave her alone, and let them have some time to develop, and Get their population up. And I'll probably throw some feed on these, all of these. We've still got a little bit of flow going on, but they don't have a big field force, so I'm gonna give them some one-to-one -one feed. Kind of help boost boost them up a little bit. And here's the last one. See if we can find this queen. So we've got three three laying queens out of three, so just a little bit of stores on them. Well, anyway, we do have eggs. So, we got to see one queen out of three. We do know they're laying, so very happy about that. I got those queens from, and I think it's it's called Laffy Bees, L-A-P-P-E. -E. And they're out of Iowa. And they all three laid real well. So, real happy with that. Went through and checking... A few of these out, see if they've done any capping on any of these. Uh, I'm sure we're not quite ready to pull yet, but we do have some of them are starting to cap. And this is just a single we had, and we're going to go along and check some of the bigger ones. Some of the bigger ones, I'm sure, in the bottom boxes are probably capped already. And we'll we'll pull one apart and just take a look at it. I can see got any capping going on here. There's a little bit going on now. And the next frame in. Okay, we'll take a look at this one. Pretty dark, honey, there. So they're just capping off from the middle out. They've they're been filling from the middle out. They're capping from the middle out, so... We probably checked enough. We will probably be looking at them again in about two weeks. We'll probably start pulling some of them off. They're capped off and and starting to track some of the honey. And then probably usually about July the fourth after the July the fourth weekend is when I pull all my honey.
So I appreciate you watching. Take care.